Greetings guys, it's Irish here. So in this video, I thought I would finally get around to theming my polybar. Now this video is not going to go really big into depth. Brody, I don't know his last name, has a more in-depth um, video series on polybar. I will link uh, his channel down below. He does one that does more of more custom scripts and stuff like that. I have one which is through Xmonad, which is what I'm in right now. Um, so, but I just wanted to theme this and try to get it to look like my Xmo bar, which was uh, very similar to this. So let us go into the config file. I'm actually going to use LeafPad for this, just to make it a little simpler here. So we're going to go into polybar, config, and now we're going to full screen. So the colors uh, can be changed. Uh, they're pretty straightforward. Uh, personally, I like to do, I believe it's six of those. One, two, three, four. So six of those. And then this is what, uh, you can name this whatever you want. It says my bar. Uh, it just says your height is 100%. I'm sorry, your width is 100%. So now if you really wanted to shrink it down a little bit, so like 75% uh, or whatever, you would just say 75% and it would shrink it to maybe something like around here. But I've noticed some weird things with polybar anyway. Uh, not going to go on a tangent here. Um, so you can name your color, your background, and your foreground color however you want, and then you just set it to that. To for your modules, what the sides on here and here, you would say, uh, show it right here. So module left. So if you're in I3, you would say I3. If you're in BSPWM, you would say that. And then the modules on the right here will be that. So I have my keyboard, since I do flip-flop between Dvorak, Colmac, and QWERTY, my brightness, my volume, my battery, and the date and time. But what I really wanted to do was to put like the font awesome uh, icons in here and kind of jazz it up in a little bit. Uh, so what I did was you have to put your font as that. So font zero is pretty much just a basic font that you have here and then you actually have to set font awesome, size, and then whatever. Uh, you can have multiple fonts. I've seen people go up to like five or six fonts. So it really is up to you. You just say font two, three, four, five, however many you want. And then you just put in quotations, the font and the size, if you want anti-alias, true type, the size, all that stuff. So you could do your tray positioning. So I have my tray here on the right hand side. I could put it here in the middle and shift everything over. Or I can put my time and date here in the middle. That's how I believe Arco Linux has theirs. Now to get this, once you have the font awesome in here, uh, I'll show you with the X keyboard. Now to do this, you would need to do format uh, dash prefix equals and then the icon and that's pretty much what it is if you wanted to turn it into a bar you can say for I mean for the brightness and the volume you can do that it does come by default if you look at my previous video uh, both the brightness and the volume is in bar form and I'll show you that a little bit but what I want to do is put, because I do get confused between my battery, my brightness, and my volume. So what I'm going to do is, let me see. Okay, so this first one is my brightness. So what I'm going to do is copy this 
and now I just all I have to do is find X backlight. Let me see if I can find that. So you can create your own. Same thing with MPD. You can create that. So here's my X backlight. So all I can do is go down here, hit format prefix, go here. Now I just need to go over into my X Mobar, uh, X Monad, X Mobar. Ah, uh, keep spelling stuff wrong. Xmo bar RC. Now I have this, uh, what it should be, right here. I believe it's this guy right here. So I just need to copy that. and now paste it and that should have my little icon what I'm gonna do is file save refresh so now what this should look like is that have like a little bar now what I'll do is I'll color this bar also so let me go back up and reference my other one here so you can say prefix foreground and then you can also do the underline I probably will get rid of the underline stuff because I don't really need it um, excuse me uh, and then let's just go down till I find that again I should organize this a little bit better okay so go down here right there and then all I need to do is set that to yellow which would be uh, F so it's this guy here F3 move that forward save refresh let's see if that works yep and then I also like to have the percentage in brackets so let me bracket this off now you can put arrows um, like in DT's configuration files I have unable to do that um, I don't know what's going on I would need to figure that out but you could do arrows and stuff like that um, it might look a little bit better a little bit nicer but I like it somewhat simple um, and yeah uh, so we'll save it and we'll do that and there we go so that's all really you need to do. <clears throat> I have seen people do the, like put in Redshift and other thing like that. There is a website for Polybar. Uh, let me go to that. And there is a wiki for it. Uh, Polybar. And then it will show you, oh, uh, let me go to the wiki here. So it will tell you a little bit on what you can put into it and all that other stuff, configurations, here's the wiki. So if you wanted to put, say, your file system, <clears throat> it gives you some basic settings and some additional formatting here. Um, let me uh, do pulse audio because that's what I have. And then it will show you where you could do bar uh, with it, um, which would be, uh, let me just go brightness here really fast, sorry about that. So here's brightness, 
and what you can do is say the bar and then you could uh, only if ramp is used and you can do it like that so actually no, I actually like it the way I had of it. So label here, you could do bar, which is right here, or you can just do ramp, uh, which will show this guy. So ramp, so you could do the indicators. So actually, let me see what that looks like. So we'll hit control, F3, paste, and then we'll change this to ramp. I'm curious what this looks like. And now refresh. Of course, it's not going to show because I'm using other stuff. But yeah, so that's how you would put some icons in. Again, this is going to be very basic. Uh, again, Brody Smith, I believe his name is, has some good tutorials on this. I just wanted to show you guys what I'm doing with my bar. Uh, a little basic um, configuration with it. Again, if I don't link it down below, please remind me. And I will catch you guys in the next video. I do plan on doing... Um, DWM blocks because that is actually a little bit more to it than than that because um, you have to insert and patch and all that stuff so I do plan on making that hopefully tomorrow if not Friday or this weekend so please look out for that and I will catch you guys in the next video